case you didn't know, the Holy Spirit is not a ghost or a wind or a fire or a dove. He's often symbolized by those things, but y'all, that ain't who he is. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. Not third because he's least in value, just third because he's the last to be revealed to us in the pages of Scripture. But all of the power and all of the greatness and all of the grandeur of God the Father is in the person of the Holy Spirit. And Ephesians chapter 1 says that when you place faith in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit of God takes up residence on the inside of you. That means all of the grandeur, all of the greatness, all of the authority of God the Father now lives on the inside of you to empower you to do what you cannot do in your own power, to give you your strength back to make you strong so that you can stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. I know you ain't got the patience and you don't have the gentleness and you don't have the kindness and you don't have self-discipline so that you can restrain yourself. That's okay. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. And the fruit of the Spirit will be your strength. But I got to tell you, I don't just want the Holy Spirit in me. Oh, I want the Holy Spirit on me. I'm talking about where His presence is almost palatable on your life. I'm talking about where His rest and grace and favor is all over your life. I'm talking about where people interact with you and there's just something they can't quite put their finger on, but there's just something distinct about your life because the Holy Spirit is resting on your life. Peace when there is no peace to be had around you, when there's chaos swirling all around you, and yet you got to anchor deep down in your soul. Stability in unstable times, certainty in uncertain times, a hope that is your anchor when everything else look hope, looks hopeless. I want the Holy Spirit on me. And you can't buy it. And I'm so glad you got your degree, but baby, you can't study for it. And I'm so glad you got all them connections, but your connections can't rig this for you. The presence of God resting on your life is a gift from God himself. And he gives it to those of us who will live lives that are magnets that call down the presence of God on our lives. And if there is one thing that magnetizes the Holy Spirit of God to us, it is holiness. Be holy. Be holy. Don't leave here and go back to the same relationship. Be holy. Don't leave here and go back and lay down in that same bed. Be holy. Don't go back. Lay it down. Let it go. Step away. Get some accountability in your life. Be holy. Be holy.